Welcome back to H3 Weapon Deep Dive. We got another lever action for you today. Here we go. I'm trying to see if I can pull the cleaning rod out on this one. No such luck. Oh, but I can hit a button by accident. Yeah, all right. We got a long one today. Look at this. It's a long one. This is the Martini Henry chambered in 577 slash 450 Martini Henry, as one does. Uh, this is not a loading tube. This is a single shot lever action. So yeah, it's lever action, but you ain't getting the good lever action goodness you're used to. Let's check it out. Let's take a look at the controls on the Martini Henry. It's a little odd. It does load through the top like this. You got to get the action open first though. So we're going to grab it with both hands, and give it a push together. There we go. Now it opens it up. If the action doesn't want to open, it's because it's already cocked like this. See, you can't really see it, but the hammer's cocked and it's in a cocked state and it won't uncock. So pressing up or down on the track pad and moving your hands together won't do anything. So you've got to press the trigger. That'll release it. Now you can open it up again. There you go. So there's your chamber. Where's my big bullet? Oof. There's a big one. Slop that in there. Now grab it again with both hands and pull your hands apart. That'll close it. Hammer's already cocked, so we are ready to go. Boom, a lot of smoke. And again, hands together. It'll eject the round. Or check the empty case, I should say. See ya. And we're gonna go to put another one in and just keep doing it. It is slow. But hey, at least it ejects the round for you. Oh, ah, closed. Dang it. See, I got it. Ah, so I had to press the trigger to, ah. And press the trigger to open. Stay. Press the trigger to open it up again. There we go. Close it. Now, don't close. There we go. Like a professional. Sadly, unlike other lever actions, you cannot hold up on the trackpad and spin it. No, it's not a proper cowboy gun if you can't spin it around. So disappointed. Can I spin it with this hand? No. Can I spin it like this? No, because I'm not Jedi. All right. Let's see what attachments will fit on this sucker. Where is my red dot? <laughs> yeah, right. No red dots, no lasers, because there's no Picatinny rails. However, muzzle brake. Muzzle brake. Muzzle brake. No muzzle brake. How about a suppressor? No suppressor. What kind of lever action is it if I won't take a muzzle brake or a suppressor? How about a barrel extension? No joy on the barrel extension. And finally, the rail adapter. No, no rail adapter. Okay, the important thing here is, will it take spatula? Oh, come on. Is that, is that not a bayonet lug? That sure looks like a bayonet lug. Get on the side. I can put a pick rail on it. No! Dang it! So disappoint. No foregrip. Nothing there. And it's already got a big old stock. Good looking stock. No extra stock. Well, not a lot to have. Yeah, yeah. Let's take a look at our sights. They're not adjustable. There we go. Every time I go to click on it, it just grabs it. But they are a little ladder sight and big old front post. See what that looks like. There we go. That's pretty good. It's a long way out there, but I can see that front post just fine. And it's a nice cut in that notch. And there it is. Just that easy. Well, there you have it. The Martini Henry. Not much to it. Till next time. I will see you. Ah, it closed again. How do I get it open when I got a bullet in my hand? Wait a minute. Well, I can do this. I can do this. Right? Come on. Come on. There you go. Wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. Come on, H3. Oh, I physics it. 
There we go. Just that easy.